guys, what is going on? It is Deboki here once again, and it's time for another episode of Scribble My Nuts. And unfortunately, Tammy cannot join us today. She is busy, but I decided to go ahead and film an episode for you guys. So if you guys remember from last episode, we were helping common folks in the restaurant, dates, monsters, frozen people. Today we are going to go ahead and start doing these blue stars, the wonderful events. So it looks like we're going to go ahead and do the chef's apprentice give the chef ingredients to make meals for each customer glorious this shall be glorious shall be great hopefully we'll t make some tasty meals um i hopefully i don't put too much bacon in bazookas because i apparently i'm going overboard with the bacon i just love bacon it's like how do you how do you feed my baby bacon how do i do my homework bacon but okay so give ingredients to the chef to make different dishes begin by adding three components of a pizza Psh, easy first one go Oh, you can't tell me, because you're watching from the future. Artichokes. Duh. Okay, artichoke. There's an artichoke for you. Those are delicious on pizzas, by the way. I'm making a deboki-style pizza. Vegetables make for a healthy pizza. All right, number two. Mm, we need some sort of good meat. Ah, oh, bacon is so good on pizza. But something else that's even great on pizza. Ground beef is pretty darn good on pizza. There's ground beef. Uh. Mm, yes, meat makes for a great topping. All right, and next, cheese. Cheese is very important, of course, but what kind of cheese do you put on a Deboki-style pizza? I like to go with the feta cheese. That's going to be one zesty pizza. Look at this block of feta. That will just knock someone out. Like, not throwing at Never mind. Cheese is standard on most pizzas. All right, the pizza now needs a secret ingredient. Use a notepad to add that something special. You know, it's great because when we go to pizza places, everything has like a secret ingredient. And, you know, I worked at a pizza place. I worked at Papa Murphy's. I don't want to brag or anything, but uh, I, I made my share of pizzas. But I think something that just will just put the pizza into a primal sauce is bunny juice. Bunny juice, you know. But, bunny. No, like, okay. Bo bony. 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 Oh, bony juice. That's messed up. I like it. I like the way the chef thinks. There it is. That pizza looks delicious. Mm. Oh my. Ugh. All right, Harry Potter, you're up next. Now we'll bake a phoenix for the witch. Add ingredients to make this magical bird. Oh. What makes birds magical? How about a how about a good old dragon egg? You know, just one of these things right there. There you go. Yeah, just put that in there. Dragon egg. You added a general component for creating a bird. I guess dragon eggs are general components. Uh, what, what else? You kind of look like you like nutrients a little bit in your phoenix. A phoenix needs to be strong because, you know, phoenixes are really majestic creatures. So I'm thinking like muscle milk. I think uh, muscly, muscly milk. Yes, there it is. Muscly milk. No, you're not. No. Okay. You can, you can just not do anything with that. Something else that'll make phoenixes just incredible. Hmm. Feces. Do they have feces? No? Nope. Okay, I was just testing it. Testing the waters. What makes birds just magical? Magical, 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 magical. A magical book. Yeah, magical book. Can you put that in there? There it is. This is good source of magical power. How about a frog toenail? Froggy, froggy, froggy toe. Oh, froggy toenail. Put that in there, chef. No, nope. you don't like that. I wouldn't either. Does it jump? Is it hopping? Oh, it hops. Ugh. Oh, that's so messed up. I don't like it. I don't like it. That gives me the jitters. Look. How about a phoenix? Yeah, just missing the main component. A phoenix. This thing. Pop that in there. What? Oh, pick up. Yeah, put put it in there. <laughs> it's okay. You can just hold the phoenix. You, you like the bird. I guess you made a friend. That's good. So something that all birds have. Um, sass. Uh, what else? Here, I'll write it so you're not distracted. <laughs> now I'm distracted. I'm just writing a phoenix. <laughs> Cooking in style, baby. Wings. Wings, yeah, wings. Ah, boom! This will help the phoenix fly, of course. Yep. Oh, monkey! <laughs> oh my goodness. We baked the phoenix, though it still looks a little raw. 
What'd you do with this, chef? Hmm. Eat it. Eat it, girl. What? I thought you were going to ride it. That's so messed up. It looks like these things have a way to working out themselves. <laughs> okay. Uh, next is Hillbilly Joe. Our last customer wants us to bake a mortar cycle. Place three ingredients in the oven to create one. Handlebars. Handle... Hand... Handmade bars? Okay, thank you, chef. This will be the base for the frame. I was thinking more of the steering mechanism, but that's good, too. How about tires? Like a tire. Yeah, a tire is good. You always need a tire on your bike. Yep, that's good. This will help the motorcycle roll. Now, you know what will make it roll? Even faster, a jet engine. Because yeah, these things... Psh, there it is. Who wouldn't want that on your motorcycle? And that will make your motorcycle fly. This will... A horn? I put a jet engine on the motorcycle and wants to make a horn out of it? You are one creative chef, my friend. There she is. The bike looks so good. To give it away. What? Oh! Chef just took off with the bicycle! Oh, Hillbilly Joe, I'm sorry. But I got myself a star. Yeah. Nine star rights. Let's continue. I feel like I'm in Mario right now. Beautiful. Oh, there's more people up here that needs to be helped. Look at this. Dogs and people and grandma. All right, let's help out these folks. All right, so what does this fellow want? He, he's saying, the billboard needs to show what we will sell here. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just, we'll put like a, an artist. Uh, <laughs> what? Savory sign? Okay, uh, the, uh, the artist will just stand there and he will sell things for you. What does this dog want? When will dinner arrive? Psh, right now, son. Bacon on a cart. Bacon... Odd... Cart... Cart... Wagon. Bacon cart... Wow! Bacon cart... Wagon. Go. Okay. And... Ride it. Yes! Riding the bacon cart! Sad. How about like a huge steak? There it is! Doggy date night! Behave you two! Alright Grandma Joe, what do you want? Oops, I forgot to fill a box with a gift. No worries, we'll just give it a gift here. Good old gun. Who doesn't like to give guns for presents? There you go, Billy Sue. She doesn't like the gun? Do you like bazookas? How about like a toy bazooka? Start them off young so you know they know what's up when they grow up. Toy bazooka! Has the word toy in it! She loves it! Birthday surprise! I'll definitely give my daughter a bazooka. That's pretty creepy. Can I eat your cake though? Alright, so we're gonna do the blue event. It says dinner service. Feed the hungry guests. Guests. Oh, must <laughs> I got a mustache on. All right, so goal. This restaurant has very different customers. Feed the schoolboy something to help him grow. Again, miracle grow. Bone meal. Bony meal. <laughs> Will that help you grow? Bro oh, bony meal. <laughs> oh, you got some abs. Wow, I don't know what I fed you, but I, I'm glad it worked. Hey, Count Dracula, the vampire wants to try something new. Give him something to quench his thirst. Psh. No human blood in my restaurant, good sir. What I'll give you is bacon juice. You can drink this. It's good. Trust me. You'll love it. Yeah. No, oh, bacon juice turns you into a bat. No taken. That was delicious. Thanks for showing me a friendlier alternative. No problem, good sir. I guess it is blood. Hey, Mr. Mrs. Robots. The robot is here for an upgrade. Feed it something a robot might eat. Human. Will you eat a human? Yeah, you're grabbing her like you want. It. Okay. Nope. Nope. Not gonna. Not gonna take that. Now yeah, throw her away. Battery juice. Buttery. Buttery juice. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> yes. You'll take it, and you'll love it. Whoa. You are a man woman. Real food helped me upgrade into a cyborg. Buttery juice. I guess butter is human's necessity. The cannibal has shown up for the special. Write something for the cannibal to dine on. Woo! A cannibal. Okay. Um, Ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Again, uh, there's no ex-girlfriend. 
epic girlfriend, evil girlfriend. Yes, evil girlfriend. This is an evil girlfriend. Oh, she, she wants. Oh, you hate the evil girlfriend. Yes, we need to exchange numbers, you and I. I have some people I want you to eat. Now you just need to have a friend as a cannibal, you know. Just you don't meet someone you don't like. Psh, here, eat him. Eat her. Delicious. Take it. Take the stuff. Dinner service completed. Ten starites, guys. We're just moving up right now. Apparently, the ex-girlfriend does need help. <laughs> I guess I'll help her out. What does she want? I wish he would give me something to make me feel better. Well, I don't want to, like, stereotype girls or anything, but just, you know. No offense, girls, but sometimes you just want a huge diamond ring. It's okay. Love Deboki is here. I'm a Cupid. What can I say? Level complete. Hold your applause for later, please. All right, so this level is completed. Let's go to the world map. I think I'm gonna visit Lily. I, I think she has something for me, actually. Um, she told me to visit her, so I was like, okay, you know, Lily, I'll visit you, sis. What? What is up? What's up? Here's some stars for your cold feet. <laughs> cold feet. Stone. Oh man. The bugs. Whoa. Blah blah blah. I gotta teach you how to talk, little guy. You're gonna fly with. Oh, goodbye, good sir. Oh, Billy Joe. Oh no, what? Why is she turning more into stone? I'm giving her more stars and it's just, it's not helping out. Not helping out at all. All right, so um, I guess one more place we'll go and tackle. We'll go and tackle the school. We'll check it out, the Inkwell High School. Or the Inkwell School. Wow, this is one depressing school. Brings me back to some horrible memories. Oh, there's Bully Joe. Got a kid in the locker, I bet. There's Sophisticated Joe. Susie Joe, question mark Joe, Hat Joe, let's see what's up. Alright, Hat Joe, what can I help you with, good sir? There really should be something to salute at the top of this pole. Okay. We'll just salute Day Bacon Flat. There we go. There it is. It's okay, you can thank me later. Flagpole salute. <laughs> Hello, sophisticated Joe, what can I help you with? I want to make everyone laugh. Laughing gas! Yes, there you go. Nope, that... Yes? No, I'm making you laugh. That's not helpful. Alright, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna go with the whole laughing... Laughing bazooka. Bazooka. Yes, laughing bazooka. You hold this. You make everyone laugh. Trust me. No worries. I'll... Okay, here, I'll give you a clown nose. You can knock yourself out. Just be the good old traditional clown nose. Oh! You turned into a clown. Good, class clown. Beautiful, sophisticated Joe. And uh, what's this? Place a critter for a class in me. Oh my goodness, a critter. Do you have like a uh, a happy panda? <laughs> it's a happy panda. Oh my goodness. Whoa, ooh, happy panda. Oh, I can ride the happy panda. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, happy panda. Oh, you, I need to make you fast though. Um, you are just, you are so slow. Okay, you're happy, but can I make you happy fast? That's the question. Oh, you are happy fast, panda. Oh, you are so awesome. Oh my goodness, can I give you wings? Is it, is it, is that stepping out of my boundaries if I gave you like dragon wings? Just like, like, like. Oh, can I fly? Oh, I can fly. I can rule the world. Yes. You and I, Happy Panda Dragon, we will rule the world together. <laughs> oh man, I wanna, I wanna make you like use animal. Yeah, used it. Okay. <laughs> um, wow, that really got out of hand. Okay, so I'm on a Happy Panda with dragon wings. Glorious. What do we put in the cage? How about like a hamster lizard? Those are always great. Like a lizard, a hipster lizard. <laughs> Okay, we put a hipster li it's a hipster lizard yes put you in the cage oh class but that's the best class pet ever hello Susie Joe what, what can I get for you I want to meet someone in the middle of their career okay well we'll just put like a sergeant sergeant this guy right here um here there you go whoa uh, she's a little old for you that's okay uh, I don't have anything to do with your success and love. Hello, Bully Joe. Um, you're a bully. It's not safe for me to get out of this locker with the bully here. Don't hurt him? I was gonna eat him with my panda. Well, um, hmm. don't hurt him. He doesn't want me to hurt the bully. Well, he wants someone- 
What the? What? <laughs> I think he was scared of my panda, happy panda dragon. Okay, I guess that's cool. Hello, weeping, weeping Joe, crying Joe. Why are you so sad? Protect me from the dodgeballs. No worries. How about like a? Oh, shield, duh. Like a huge rubber shield. Yeah, that's great. Oh, that's great. That's great. There you go. <laughs> Ow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Your guys' dodgeball was tough back then. Man. All right. So it looks like this person needs help. Who are you? Oh, <laughs> Cook and Sue. What do you need? Place something in my pot to serve the students for lunch. Good old Sloppy Joes. Or Sloppy Tabokies. <laughs> sloppy Tabo... Sloppy... Debris. Sloppy Debris. Yes! Burgers! <laughs> That's what school food's all about. Oh, he just died. Well, you know, I've experienced this in the classroom. I seriously think they served me some sketchy things. Trust me, all happens for the best. Hey, little kid, what's the matter? Um, what can I help you with? This playground is lame. It needs some more interesting attractions. Well, how about like a movie theater? Get ready to be your mind blown, son! Man, this kid is stubborn. How about like a water park? Yeah, water park. Boom! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! It's alright, I'm a genie. I just come and make wishes true. Look at me, I'm flying my happy panda dragon. Don't mind me. What, 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 what? What's up here? Anything needs to be helped up here? I feel like I didn't do anything, really. I <laughs> feel... Wait, there's one event that I haven't taken care of. Where is this special event? Oh, there it is. It's this thing right here. What is this? What is this? It's a Bunsen burner. Experiment in mad science. Help the student win the science fair by creating a dastardly creature. Oh boy. Well, I think I'm writing one right now. No offense, Happy Panda Dragon. I just think it's it's the annual high school or it's the annual school science fair. Help the student win by creating a life form. First, give the paramecium paris, paris. Goodness, how old are these kids? A source of nutrition. Uh, nutrition broccoli. Just like just, that's the high school broccoli. Uh, yeah, there you go. One nutrition. Boom. Now it needs some heat to help it grow. Heat. Okay. Uh, what makes you hot? The sun. Boom. We'll put a sun in there. Yes, good. Sun. Yum. Wow, it's starving. Wow, it's starting to grow. Next, I should give it something a creature body would need. What does a creature body need? Hands. Yes, good. Here it is. Take it. Love it. I'm just doing speed round. Now it's really starting to grow. Next, I should help integrate it into society. Um, easy. Clowns. Uh, no. Why, why clown? Boom. Clowns. Yes. Wow, you are really messed up. <laughs> Lastly, I should give it a name. Place letters on the canvas and flip the switch. L. Oh, okay. L. Um, you'll be named L from uh, Death Note. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness, that was too hard. Too hard for hard. Got myself the star, though. Experiment in mad science. Total star rights 12. Woo! Level completed. Oh my goodness, good job. Check on Lily in the farm to collect or unlock new levels. We already unlocked new levels. My goodness. My goodness. There you go, Lils. Some more star power for you. Just had to travel the world once again. Met some really weird people. Archer Joe! Archer Panties! Oh! Oh, and your dinosaur! Oh, where have you been all my life? Oh my goodness, he wants to eat the dinosaur. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Alright guys, well I think I will go ahead and end it there for this Scribble Knots episode. I'm glad you guys still enjoy this, or I hope you guys do. Um, I'm having a super fun time making these Scribble Knots. Scribble my knots! Well, I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the Bogey, and we'll be scribbling you later. Goodbye.